Hello everyone, it's the Sivert here with another quick tutorial. This one is on physics again, but this time it's more code based. I made an example a while back where you could drag uh, and create a circle of any size you wanted to, and then it would respond with proper physics like so. And so a lot of people were wanting to know how to do this because uh, just with GameMaker's uh, built in object properties, you can't have it so that you know the object can be any size uh, determined inside of the game you can you know set the properties outside when you're editing but not inside like so anyway uh, also I can create lines and then they respond properly as well so anyway I'm gonna show you how to do this by the way this works in HTML5 version and all the other modules as well so as far as the create line goes, what it actually is is a square. Uh, it creates a square that's really thin and long, so a rectangle, and then it rotates it to fit the line. So it's not actually just a line; it's actually a square. Anyway, um, so what I did with the ball creation script here, all you have to do is give it its position and rotation and then it will create the ball. Uh, I'll quickly show you. All I have it doing is when I release uh, the left mouse button then we do SCR create ball and then these are the X and Y where I create it and the uh, distance that I create it or the radius I should say. So I'll try to explain this. So what it does is it first it creates the null object which is going to be the ball uh, at the specified coordinates then it creates a fixture so this is kinda how you deal with um, with creating physics objects in code is all these fixtures so first you have to set a variable to physics fixture create then you want to give it a shape so physics fixture set sh um, circle shape so here you stick in again the fixture and then you're going to want to give it the radius. With other shapes, because you can also use square, uh, you would put in other um, size variables, but in this one you just stick the radius. Then you need to set the density and friction. Pretty much same principle. And then here's the interesting bit. You need to physics fixture bind. You need to bind the fixture to the object ID. So you could do this within the object itself, within the null object, and bind it to self, but I bound it to, well, the OBJ. So it's the same deal, anyway. And then I deleted the fixture afterwards just to free up space, and then reset the variables. So, oh yeah, I set the variables inside the object to be the same as what I set it to outside here. So that's pretty much it inside the object um, again I just have these collision events with uh, the other objects and that'll um, respond in GameMaker's physics engine and then I have it drawing a sprite uh, the rotation is image angle because GameMaker automatically rotates the uh, the object um, with physics right and the way that translates into variables is not by direction but with image angle. So that's how you draw it. Um, yeah, you can also right click on it, I think, to uh, delete an object. So that's how I do the balls. Now for the lines, it's a little bit different. Um, Here's the uh, the creation event. You simply do scr create line, and then you give it um, x1, uh, y1, x2, y2. For the two different coordinates, that'll um, be the line. Um, so what what it has to do first is determine the middle point of the line, like where is the center. So that's what this bit of math here does. It finds the center of the line and then it creates the line with it being the sensor and then it passes these variables to the object line so then in object line here 
Um, here it creates the fixture and the random variables and then it sets uh, this alarm 0 to 1. This is so that I can be sure that I have the variables from this script uh, before I create the fixture. So just one step into its creation we have this. So it's, it's fairly similar to the last one. Uh, physics fixture set box shape so half of so the, the two variables you have here is half width and half height so half height is one meaning that it is exactly two pixels tall this box and then I took uh, the distance between the two points that you gave and I cut that in half because it says half the width so then I gave it a density of zero this is so that it'll float and is abs and is like invulnerable pretty much. Um, it is, yeah, it's very solid. And then friction, I set that to 0 0.8 and then I bound it to self and then I deleted it. Same thing I did on the other one. But then I, I set the rotation of the physics object to uh, minus point direction. So that way it rotates the box so that it's it's in alignment with the line so and then in the draw event I simply draw a line so that's pretty much how how I did it um, looking at the descriptions for all the different um, scripts that I used will be very helpful to you yeah, yeah. this is just kind of explaining how to Set phys or set physics with code instead of just using these um, presets uh, options inside of the object like here use physics because here you have to modify your collision shape and then you have only one set size that each object can be which is very restrictive inside of a game when you want to give people the freedom of making a, a numerous amount of objects any size they want like I'm doing here. So, um, yeah, it just kind of gives you more freedom with what to do with your with your physics. So, I hope this was helpful to you guys. I hope I didn't just I don't know go way over your heads or teach you a bunch of stuff you already know. Anyway, uh, goodbye.